Now with the help of this example, we are going to summarize the learnings of rotation about the origin. Question is, write the coordinates of a triangle ABC with vertices at A03, B3-4 and C-3-2 after the following rotations about the origin. So we have got six different rotations here. As you will note, three of them is counterclockwise and the other three are clockwise. So with this question we really cover complete rotation about the origin. Now let's first understand how should we do it, right? So let's say this is our coordinate plane and in the first set of three we are doing counterclockwise. Counterclockwise 90 degrees, 180 degrees and 270 degrees for a triangle and the coordinates are already written for you. When you do counterclockwise, what happens? Let's say we have a point here, it moves in there, right? So when it moves in there, then what happens? X and Y changes. That is the first change. And the value of X becomes negative. That is what happens, right? So, so we'll do, in general, when you do 90 degrees counterclockwise, if you are starting with a point, let us say X and Y, then what happens? So let me write down. For 90 degrees clockwise, X and Y will swap, right? So Y will value will come here, X will come there, and the X value becomes negative, so we'll write this negative. That is the change which is going to happen. So based on this, we can write down all the coordinate points. Do you see that? It is as simple as that. So let's start with A, and we'll call this as A dash. So it'll be We'll swap the points X and Y, we'll bring 3 here and 0 to the other side and make change the sign for X. That is it. For B, it will be B dash. First we'll swap, we get minus 4 and 3. Change the sign for X, so we'll make it plus 4. Do you see that? And for C dash, it will be same 2 and minus 3. Change the sign and we get minus 2. So these are the points which you get after 90 degrees of counterclockwise rotation. Now let us consider 180 degrees counterclockwise. So when you do 180 degrees then a point here will come right across. right? So what really happens for 180 degrees is if original points are X and Y then when they are coming here X and Y remain same but their sign changes. X becomes negative, Y also becomes negative so we have negative x and negative y. That is how we do it, right? So in that case, let me call this as a double dash. The points will be with negative sign. But 0 is not never written with negative and positive. is always considered positive. And we get here minus 3. For b, the points will be negative 3. And reverse minus 4, make it 4. For c, it will be reverse the sign so it becomes 3 from minus 3 and minus 2 from 2. So that is what we get. Do you see that? Now if you do counterclockwise 270 degrees then what is the situation? 270 degrees counterclockwise is like think like this. This is like 90 right? 180 and 270. It's like going here right? It is same as clockwise 90. You see that? So counterclockwise 270 is same as clockwise 90. Correct? So both are exactly same. So what we will do is we'll do clockwise 90 and copy both. Correct? So let's move on to clockwise now. So what happens when we do clockwise? Clockwise 90. Now consider a point here. Let us say and we are doing clockwise 90, right? So it comes there. That is what is clockwise 90. So in clockwise 90, what happens? X and Y change, but you will see Y value becomes negative. X remains positive or the same, I should say, right? So in this case, the transformation is that X and Y changes, right? So, so if original is X and Y, it becomes Y and X. But y value becomes negative. This is the y part. So we'll make that negative. That is what 
happens, right? So for this transformation, we'll write here. So 0 and 3, so our point A, let's, let's call it 3 dashes now, will be what? Will change, so it was 3 and 0, right? 3 and 0. We are supposed to make 0 negative, but 0 is always considered negative, positive, as same as positive, right? So we write the same thing. How about B? So let's interchange. We get minus 4 and 3. And we have to reverse the sign for Y, so we'll make it minus 3. For C, C triple dash is going to be, let's flip it. So when you flip it, you get 2 and minus 3. But you have to change the sign for Y, so it becomes plus 3. I hope that is clear, right? So this is for both of them. You get the idea, right? So that is how we do clockwise 270 degrees, uh, rather counterclockwise 270 degrees and clockwise 90 degrees, right? Now let's consider clockwise 180 degrees. Clockwise 180 degrees is if you start from here, you land up there, right? It is same as counterclockwise 180 degrees right both are same so we can copy right the same ones same rules apply basically the signs interchange right so you have to reverse the sign so we can write this as same as a double dash right so I'll write a double dash we get to the same point and copy these figures same with reversing the sign so we get 0 minus 3 and b double dash is going to be we have to reverse these signs right so it's 3 becomes minus 3 and plus 4 and for c we could write this as reverse the sign so we get 3 and minus 2 you can see these two are same right that is what it should be now when we do counterclockwise of 270 then you know what we are expecting can you tell me what result should we get so when you do clockwise, so when we do clockwise 270, what do you think, where are we going to land? So let's see, clockwise 270 will land same as counterclockwise 90, do you see that? So these two are same, same rules apply. So let me write down the rule here, minus yx, and then I'll call this a dash, okay, a dash, correct. So that is clockwise 270. So basically what is happening here is 270 will flip x and y and then we will change the x value sign, right? That is what we'll do. So flip is 3 and 0, changing sign means minus 3. B dash should be flip means minus 4 and 3, change the sign for x, so make it plus. And C dash should be flip minus 3 and 2, so we get 2 and minus 3, change the sign for x, that is it. So you see, these two are exactly same. So that is how we can summarize rotations about origin, whether they are clockwise or counterclockwise. And I hope with this example, you understand the whole concept. I'll appreciate if you could draw this triangle ABC and do them individually and check it for yourself. That is going to help you a lot. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.